The fake recovery is stalling in most countries around the world. In fact, we are way past the point where it's supposed to have been back into growth mode. All growth up until now has been because of stimulus from governments and central banks, nothing else. And now the injections are not as massive as they were initially and so the effect is fading. Just like an addict, the effects lessen as tolerance builds. So either prepare for confetti money or or for an economic collapse, or possibly something we've never seen before. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I'm going to show you what's happening today. I'm going to look at the job scenario. We're going to talk about oil. I'm going to talk about what's happening with the stock market itself. As I say every time, I gotta move through this quickly because I got a lot of data, but seriously, this one is jam-packed. I'm gonna try not to go into depth in any of these. I just wanna really hit each point. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with this. We're looking at the US right now. I will be covering Canada at the end of the video and some others, but take a look at this. Aid to more than half of all Americans receiving jobless benefits is set to expire in less than two months and the share is likely to grow as the year-end deadline approaches right now roughly 3.6 million americans have been out of work for more than 27 weeks or six months overall roughly one in three people currently out of work have been unemployed since the beginning of this year now you look at the statistics i've shown you them before you've got some people that are back to work they're getting paid we have a lot of people that will not show up on these statistics that had their salaries cut when they cut those salaries maybe it was 20 percent maybe it was 10 percent maybe it was 30 percent who knows what it is but we know specifically the data is in and it is very very clear that it is approximately between 200 to 400 dollars where people are basically at that point in which they would be crushed 200 to 400 dollars in a month so if their expenses increased by 200 dollars we know that food has increased somewhat so maybe their bills are 20 dollars more or 50 dollars more in the month who knows what it might be that's going to put some pressure there at the same time if their salary is being cut who knows how that will affect them it's going to hurt a lot of people and they're not going to show up on unemployment they're still getting paid but their salaries are cut the same thing applies in many places around the world for rough the same factors so when we look at the unemployment rate we're only seeing a very small part of it I know I harp on about that a lot but I'm consistently seeing people who do not understand this information and that's truly unfortunate I know if you are one of my regular subscribers we're on the same page with that but I just need to make it clear as often as possible okay there are you know there's more information in here I'm not gonna harp on about it but you know what I'm talking about and that there are so many people that are possibly going to end up without those benefits without that money coming in and we will see what happens i do expect that there will be some stimulus that comes out but they have warned already it's not going to be as big as they you know some people are hoping so we'll see what happens i'll bring the information as it comes up Double dip moves from risk to reality in major economies you could see here alternative high frequency data show a deterioration of economic activity many different countries us japan germany france and so on they go through and you can see what's been happening as of late if you want you could zoom into this i will have the link in the description as always under the sources section you could see it for yourself but it was basically just showing us this kind of recovery where maybe things would have started to recover absolutely not a v-shaped recovery as they told us it would be but here is sort of the general direction but that started to kind of fade out and instead it's kind of topping and for many places it has head downward we're not where we were back in march april time frame certainly in most places but this just shows us the direction alternative high frequency data show that economic activity in advanced economies weakened in october and then they go on to talk about the downtrend continuing at the beginning of november particularly in major european countries of course if there are lockdowns if people can't go to the store if 
if people cannot spend money, they're going to have a problem with their economy. And that's just the way it is. And this just shows you what's been happening, but it gives you some insight as to the real world data that's coming out, not necessarily, you know, Tesla stock and Amazon stock and so on. This just gives us an example of what's been happening today. But we knew already that the economies around the world have been slowing for a very long time. This was just kind of a real wake up call for many. This article here is getting into what's happening with the job situation. A lot of detail, but I just touched on a couple of points. In recent days, Disney announced plans to axe 28,000 workers. Shell said it may cut as many as 9,000. Germany's Continental AG approved a restructuring, I love that word, plan that will abolish or shift 30,000 jobs worldwide. They get into some more detail, but you look at the problem that's going on, not just in the United States, not just in one part of the US. It's going on all over the place. As some of the job losses become permanent, and that's another thing I want to note, you got temporary layoffs, you've got furloughs, as they love to call it, then it becomes permanent. And that is going to hit hard for a lot of people. Anyway, the recovery in labor markets is slowing in the U.S. Applications for unemployment benefits remain elevated at about four times last year's level. Certainly, that has come down significantly from its peak. I've shown you that consistently, but it's still way, way too high. In this article here from Oil Price, they are talking about what's happening with the industry, saying that, of course, because of the issue here, the crisis of 2020, that's putting a huge, you know, let's say headwinds on the industry as a whole, creating layoffs, but also the mergers and acquisitions always lead to that. And of course, we see that in the financial industry, we see that in any industry at all. But let me just uh, take a look at some of these here. Chevron, which had already announced job cuts up to 15 percent of its workforce will lay off around 25 percent of noble energy's staff you go on and on the u.s oil industry job losses even without consolidation they give you some other examples exxon mobile for example announced last week around 14,000 job cuts or around the 15 percent of its workforce including some 1900 jobs in the united states i did cover that just recently they just show you that the u.s oil field services sector 106,000 jobs have been lost since earlier this year. Texas has been hit the hardest, nearly 60,000 jobs lost. They go on and talk about all the details. I'm not going to really extend this for you, but you can see what's happening. Yes, we've got a problem, the crisis of 2020. That's going to hit jobs. That's hitting what's going on in the oil industry. I mean, obviously, you have noted this, not just with one company or another, but then you have the mergers and acquisitions that take place. This is something that has come up already. I think 2021 is going to be even more interesting. Restaurants open for reservations. You could see this data that comes from Open Table. Take a look at how it kind of rounded out. And now we see this heading downward. As the temperatures get colder, as more people are unwilling to sit inside, as there are more lockdowns in place, this is starting to decline. And we'll see if it heads back into that range where we were at uh, several months ago. That will not be good good for business, that's for sure. I found this to be very interesting and you could read the whole PDF if you want to take a look at it. A lot of graphics made it really uh, digestible with their information related to advertising and the changes that have happened over the last little while, going back from 2012 all the way and what they expect the future will hold. Just looking at the amount of money that's put into internet advertising is crazy. Absolutely crazy how much this has changed and you see what's going on with TV 
Less money going into TV, more money going into online advertising. Everything else, when you look at radio and direct mail and magazines and so on, all of that is basically fading into non-existence. And it just shows you how things have changed over the last little while. This plays into all types of businesses. I show you this because this is the type of information we should be aware of. Okay, it's not just people going on Amazon and buying stuff. We need to look at how this affects other industries as well. Advertising is so important. If you do advertising in your business at all, or you know maybe you work for a company that does it, it's just an interesting trend to watch out for. That's all. I'll end the video there. If you found it informative, hit that thumbs up button. When you do, you are supporting me. Just click one button on the way out. Thank you very much. If you want to learn how to sell stuff online, I'm talking about e-commerce, you can learn for free. I give you everything. Everything that you need to learn is right here in this course. Check it out, theamazongps.com. If you want the information related to the financial system that has been literally stripped from you and the education system, you can get it here in my two books. The link is in the description. If you want the audiobook instead, you can get that at themoneygps.com. Don't go anywhere. Have you seen this video yet? There's so much information jam-packed into it. Definitely check it out. I'll see you there.